If you're wondering if KiwiCo's Panda Crate or Love Every's Play Kits are better, we're gonna be answering that today. Spoiler alert, in my opinion, quick answer, Love Every wins by landslide. If I could summarize it, I'd say it's like the items from Panda Crate allow you to taste a bunch of different stuff so that you know what toys to upgrade to based off of your child's interests. Whereas Love Every, it is the toy that ends up holding the child's interest. If you're looking for the cheapest baby toy subscription box, then Panda Crate wins. I have been reviewing KiwiCo's Panda Crates and Love Every Slay Kit for a while now. My name is Rachel. Welcome to my channel. You guys can go ahead and watch those individual reviews, including how my child actually enjoys enjoyed playing with the items. Today, we're going to look at how well these play kits actually hit the developmental mark, how long they actually last beyond getting the initial box. Like how long do they truly hold up? Is your kid gonna play with them for two weeks or for a year? If you guys missed it, I have done a KiwiCo vs. Love Every comparison in the past. That talks more about pricing, sales, initial impressions of KiwiCo's Panda Crate because in full disclosure, I have had every Every single love every play kit whereas I only got panda crate towards the end in this video though I will share with you a comparison of those earlier panda crates and why I will not be ordering those for baby number two which is due in June. So we're gonna be covering a lot today that's different from that first video. The intended age range of KiwiCo's Panda Crate line is zero to 24 months, so zero to two. After that, your child moves to their Koala Crate line, which is for two to four year olds. Love Every's is a little bit different. It is from zero to 36 months. As far as the quality between Panda Crate versus Love Every, something about Love Every that just feels high end. Their woods feel heavier, whereas KiwiCo's Panda Panda Crate feels a bit more cheaply made, for lack of a better word. No damage to any of the items. I never received anything damaged. My toddler has not damaged anything. So everything from both subscription boxes has held up in mint condition, basically. Now the most important thing, in my opinion, which is the actual length of use of the items for each play kit or crate. With our Love Every items, upon the initial unboxing, my daughter has played with them typically for at least an hour straight. After that, throughout the week, she pretty much plays with all of the items nonstop. They're like her brand new toys, <laughs> as they're supposed to be. And then I start to rotate them into our toy rotation. Even at 18 to 24 months, she would still go back to items that we got in our Love Every play kits for under one year old. And when I would cycle new toys or old toys back out onto her play shelf, she would typically play with them again for like 40 minutes at a time. They really engage her and hold her focus. The updated thinker play kit, literally two days ago she went into the baby nursery for that toy off the shelf and has been playing with it for the last two days. But with that said, it's not like she's playing with that toy for 40 minutes. She's been playing with that toy I'd say more like six times a day in 10 minute increments. Those toys really grow with your child in my experience. Kiriko on the other hand has always been a lot more underwhelmed you do get more toys in a Love Every box than what you're getting in a Panda Crate box. Not comparing apples to apples completely here. Upon the initial opening or unboxing of a Panda Crate, she'll typically play with it for about 40 minutes, so less time than she plays with a Love Every one, but again, there's fewer items in there. Then throughout that first week, she'd maybe play with them for 20 to 40 minute increments, but she'd also be very much more engaged in other toys and activities, whereas like with Love Every, it was just all about the new Love Every items. As I've moved Panda Crate items out of her playroom and into toy rotation and then cycled them back into the playroom, there have been times where even though she hadn't seen an item for months, she still would not touch it at all during that entire week it sat on her play shelf. Did get used, it would be much shorter compared to Love Every items, so we're talking like 15 minutes top. I also found that a lot of the Love Every play kit items Items ended up working well with previous play kit items, which really extended the overall use or breathe fresh life into an old toy. Some of the KiwiCo items do work with some of the larger Love Every items, like the Way Scale and the Cylinder Puzzle. Me too. One of the biggest questions parents have, which is whether or not these hit the developmental mark in supporting our child's growth. 
With Love Every Play Kits, I'd say they do a really good job of this with their toys. The items are really picked to last for at least a year. For instance, in their updated Babbler Play Kit, they have a coin box that comes with a variety of lids that will really grow with your child throughout that entire one to two year range, but also beyond that. And even in the original version of the coin box, what I found personally, because that's the one we have, she would initially work on the fine motor skill of dropping the coin into the bank, but then six months later, she was working on pulling the bottom off so she could retrieve the coins on her own. Their items are really designed to present new challenges as time progresses, which I really appreciate. Initially, I would have to sit with my daughter when she'd play with this to reset it for her, and now it completely encourages independent play as she has developed the strength to pull the bottom off. On the other hand, the panda crates always seemed a little confused about who each box was intended for. We got some items that felt very babyish in our crate that came between 18 and 24 months old. And then once I posted my video reviewing that panda crate, I found out that they moved that panda crate to an earlier time frame. So instead of 18 to 24 months, I think it now comes 13 to 18 months. But that type of confusion was consistent, I found, throughout most most of the panda crates we got. With that said, they did surprise me a few times. One of the items that I thought was the most babyish item we got, which are these squishy shapes, have literally been my daughter's favorite item she has ever gotten from Kiwi Cow. If I could sum it up, I'd say it's like the items in panda crates are either too young or too old and never quite right for when they ship. And rather than revamping their crates fully, it seems like they just keep making small tweaks that fall short short when compared to Love Every. Now with that said, I did get the Love Every play kits before my daughter was even born. Other than the first one or two, I always introduce Love Every play kits about two to six months before they suggested or that play kit would ship if you had entered your child's accurate birthday. My daughter got early exposure to Love Every ones and then was always on the tail end of Panda Crate ones. However, my experience Experience with the panda crate has been pretty consistent with the comments I've gotten and in my own research. Because one of the questions I got was do I plan to subscribe to either of the subscription services for baby number two? I had said in a previous video I started our panda crate subscription in around 18 months when I found out I was pregnant with baby number two. One of my concerns with panda crate was always were they repetitive to love every or did they just fall short? So any items that didn't work for her with the panda crate I figured would work well for baby. So I have no regrets about getting our panda crate whatsoever. When I was asked that question, I did start to look more into KiwiCo's panda crates for under one years old. And here are my thoughts. I'm gonna focus on the first few crates that shipped during that first year and how it compares to Love Every's. The panda crate bond with me versus the looker from Love Every. Both of these are intended for zero to two month olds. The bond with me panda crate costs $40 and the looker from Love Every costs $80. So Love Every's is twice as expensive. Now, with that said, in the Bond With Me crate, there's only two worthwhile items in my opinion, which are the mirror card and the high contrast flash cards. And to spend $40 on those two items is ridiculous in my opinion. I'd much rather buy an organic swaddle and some milestone cards that fit my taste versus getting the ones that are in that crate. Compare that to Love Avery's The Looker, which comes out to about $10 an item. It's definitely more worthwhile price per item. Some of the items that we got in that play kit were some of our favorites and we have used and still use to this day and I know we will be using with baby number two. Their high contrast flashcards are like made of some sort of magic material that do not tear no matter what babies do to them. I have not heard of a single person's baby who has torn these. My daughter put them in her mouth, she crinkled them, they're still in great condition. But they also come with a standing card holder which is great for tummy time. We put it in her bassinet when she was in a bassinet stroller extension. We used it for all sorts of different thing. There's also a travel card holder so you that around the back of the car seat so when they're rear facing it gives them something to look at that's soft versus kind of the controversial hard mirrors that a lot of parents end up 
up using. The wooden board book, we still keep that in our car and my daughter still plays with it and I love it because it's wood and they can't chew through it. Babies are putting stuff in their mouth a lot. This is a fantastic book to have for newborns. It is worth the higher price tag. There's really no comparison between the two. Next is gonna be the Panda Crate Fence With Me versus Love Every's The Charmer. And these are intended for three to four month olds. Both of these focus on teethers and rattles. Personally, I prefer Love Every's. If you watched my full review of that play kit, the framed mirror, which my daughter still uses at over two years old, we use it to brush her teeth. And because their focus is on overall cleaner material. If there's a box to skip and on both of these, probably a teether rattle box. Somewhere around five to six months, Love Every has the sensor play kit. Panda Crate chips out the travel with me crate. This Panda Crate focuses on travel items. You have hanging rattles and a travel blanket to lay out at the park, which are nice. If you have a play gym, you probably have some hanging toys already. And then other than like hanging it from the bar on the car seat, I'm not really sure where you're supposed to hang those items once you're at the park. And it just feels unnecessary to me personally. Love Every's The Sensor Play Kit has some really quality wooden toys. I have gotten so many comments from you guys who have gotten the updated version of this, have said that the rainbow spinner has been one of your child's favorite toy. We didn't get the rainbow spinner in the version we had and the magic tissue box is a toy that she still plays with today and can be repurposed for other activities too. Now with that said, the Panda Crate does offer a similar tissue box later on. I think it comes somewhere between 7 to 12 months. But unlike Love Everest, which is in a sustainably harvested wood and super durable, the Panda Crate one is just soft. It's collapsible. It has high contrast imagery, which again is where I say like it doesn't seem like they always know Know who these crates are intended for because baby see in black, white, and gray the first four months of their life. So why is their tissue box black and white imagery if it's coming from seven to 12 months? There's quality is different. Like your items from Love Every feel luxury when you compare a similar item from a KiwiCo Panda Crate. But that said, the sensor play kit from Love Every does have some duds in my personal experience and from some of the comments that I've gotten. I talked about this in that video, so I won't go into it here, but my daughter never loved the Wobbler Tummy Time toy, which I know a lot of you guys who have commented said that that was one of your kids' favorites. On the flip side, my daughter loved the socks. Some of you guys have commented saying that your kids didn't care for the socks. Every kid is totally gonna be different. We never got a huge amount of use out of the Rainbow Ball, but I will say the Parts of Me book is one of our favorites. I love the idea of teaching body parts to kids. I have a whole video coming up about how to choose books for newborns and toddlers, so make sure you hit that notification and subscribe button so you don't miss it. We talk about that and so much more in it, but that could be a box worth skipping. I'm going to touch briefly on the Koala Crate versus the Love Every Play Kits. There is an overlap from two to three years old with each of those. When Love Every first came out with their two to three year old play kits, I was a little bit bummed because they offer a lot more activity items in their kits, but they were activities that were going to get used up. And if you're spending $120 on a play kit, you probably want some stuff that lasts. The idea of using up all the paper shapes from a gluing kit or the temporary her paint sticks kind of bummed me out. With that said though, my daughter has absolutely loved them and I probably never would have taken the time to cut up a bunch of pieces of paper or use my Cricut to try a grueling activity with her because I am so pregnant and like working and all of that type of stuff. Having that there, seeing how much she has loved having that, I will now make it a priority because I know it was successful. Sometimes it's hard for me to get motivated to set up an activity for my kid if I just don't know how much she'll like it. Kudos to them, they hit the developmental mark there on their activities. When I compare that to Koala Crate, it's pretty different. I got my first Koala Crate and they sent me the wrong box. They sent me one for three and up. And one of the first things I noticed was, oh my God, this is so many pieces and this is just really overwhelming for me as a parent. And then I'm looking through the materials and it says parent involvement high. After we received the wrong Koala Crate for three and up, I went and did some more research on their two to three year old one. And none of them got me particularly excited. I'm editing this video right now and I realized I said something that ended up not being true. Initially I thought that Love Every's gluing activity was most similar to Koala Crate's Ocean Games where you get a couple of sea creature cutouts and some tissue paper and I thought they would have the two to three year olds glue the tissue paper onto those animals to create their mosaic pattern. But no, 
Instead, Koala Crate has you peel off the back of the turtle or fish and then the tissue paper stick on, which is kind of my point of why the two to three year old kits ended up being so underwhelming in my opinion. That mixed with this other one they had, which was a canvas activity mat that when it got wet, it changed colors. I did not find anything particularly like Wow, this is teaching a new skill. I'm holding off on our Koala Crate subscription until my daughter is closer to three because once baby comes, we pretty much have just over a month as a family of four before my daughter starts preschool. And I just want to soak up all of that time and not be trying to do activities with my kid. And then we're gonna be spending so much less time with her than what we currently do because she'll be in preschool that I don't feel the need to have any Koala Crates or any any additional activities beyond our Love Every Play Kids at this time. Like I said, the Koala Crate I got said parent involvement level high, which is in alignment with what my friends who have older kids had warned me about with KiwiCo in general. It's not that I'm opposed to doing uh, super involved activities with my kid at all, but right now with the stage I'm currently in, working twice as much, preparing for baby. I've really enjoyed more of a Montessori approach, especially that Love Every's activities in their two to three year old play kits offer. I opened up the glue kit, she was able to do it on her own and they really foster independence versus what I've seen so far in the Koala Crate, which really does require a parent to help with a structured activity. I plan to probably get a few Koala Crates in a few months to have on hand for rainy days, but it's not something that I wanna be subscribed to or, or feel pressure around at this time. With that said, somebody asking me, would I resubscribe to Love Every for the new baby or get Panda Crate for the new baby? I don't think it's worth getting both subscription kits. There is so much overlap in them. We're kind of minimalist in our toys. I would rather not get a bunch of small items from KiwiCo and instead get some larger items like our Pickler Triangle, save that subscription money from the first year, put it towards something else. If you are looking for the cheapest toy subscription box, I think Panda Crate is a great place. In my experience though, you would probably have to supplement with other toys. Whereas with Love Every, we pretty much strictly had those as our only toys for the most part for the first year and a half. And I never felt like we needed to supplement anything. It's totally a personal choice for you. Every kid is gonna be different. This was just our experience. I'm sure there are kids out there that would probably prefer KiwiCo's Panda Crate over Love Every's. But for us, I was a lot happier with Love Every. My daughter seemed happier with them too. There is a much stronger resale market for Love Every toys. They hold their value much better in my experience than KiwiCo toys. So if you did end up wanting to sell your items after you've used them for a while, but it's always gonna be a personal choice for you and figuring out what makes the most sense for you and your family. If you guys wanna jump deeper into either of these toy subscription boxes, you guys can go ahead and check out all of my individual Love Every Play Kit reviews so far or my pan to create reviews. If you guys have any questions at all, my name's Rachel. Feel free to drop them in the comments below or hit me up on Instagram at the confused millennial. Have a good one.